Hi, I'm Jerry O'Donnell with Four Angels Messages, and I'm joined this morning with my son. Hi, I'm Seth. And together we're going to address another child's question. But before we begin, we're going to start with the word of prayer. Our Father, we thank you so very much for the opportunity to spend in thy word. I pray that as we bring a question to you, that you will help us understand it, and that it will not only go into our minds that we can think on, but into our hearts that we can be, well, better Christians. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey, Seth, what's our question today? What will people do in heaven? That's a very good question. Uh, some people think that they're going to be bored in heaven, and that all they do is uh, worship God, and uh, that's all that the, they do throughout eternity. And that would be quite boring. No wonder people say, might as well get in my enjoyment of here and now, because when I get there, boy, that's going to be boring. Really, do we think that this earth has more to offer than what heaven has to offer? Let's uh, take a look in the Bible. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 65. Isaiah 65 is where we're headed. And we're going to read a couple of verses out of chapter 65. And those verses happen to be 21 and 22. So Isaiah 65, beginning in verse 21, the Bible says, And they shall build houses and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit, they shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. So whatever we go to do work-wise, it's going to be enjoyable. Right now, people uh, uh, like gardeners and stuff like that have a terrible time, and uh, it's very difficult. Uh, some people, the only way that they can maintain a home, if they own a home, happens to be call somebody in to, to take care of the problems that they, they have. They, they, uh, some people joke about uh, not able to even drive a nail into a two by four. All of these things, we're going to find out that in heaven, we are going to have what's known as a green thumb. There's going to be no problems. Whatever is planted grows, and uh, we don't have to worry about the weeds. We don't have to worry about the bugs. And we can definitely build our houses without knowing now how to do something like that, but from scratch we're going to be able to do that. But there's something else we're going to do, and it's in the next chapter. Let's go to chapter 66. So, chapter 66, and let's take a look here uh, in verse 23. So, Isaiah 66 and verse 23. The Bible says, and it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, month to month basically, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. And so we're going to have the greatest church service uh, that this world cannot even imitate. There's these mega churches that have uh, come about. And uh, they have large crowds where you can't even see the minister. And uh, that's going to be puny in size, meaning tiny, compared to what's before us. We're going to have the largest congregation of angels and uh, human beings all gathered to worship before God. And our eyesight's going to be a whole lot better where instead of uh, looking down onto a stage where the minister is so tiny, we're going to actually be able to see them, uh, see Jesus um, as if he's standing next to us. It's going to be wonderful. And now let's take a look at one more verse. 
and that is in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. So let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and summarize it all with this one verse. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 it says, But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. And so we can't even begin to understand what heaven's going to be like. But this much I know is that everything that we enjoy here on earth, we're going to, uh, it's not more enjoyable here. It's going to be more enjoyable in heaven. And I just can't wait to, to, to be there in the presence of God, building houses, planting vineyards, uh, just enjoying everything. Not to mention all the investigation of the universe that we'll be able to do as well. And like it said here, it hasn't even entered into our hearts yet what is already pre uh, being prepared for us. So that's our answer. And now we're going to take another moment in prayer. Our Father, thank you for this time to have spent with you. I pray that uh, we think on these things and may we be encouraged by the thought that you are going to reveal things that have not even been put into our hearts yet. Even the things that may be in movies and TV that seem so spectacular is not going to compare to what the future holds throughout eternity. And we'll never get bored. That's the greatest thing about it all. And I pray that we would be looking forward to going there. Help us, I pray, to be ready. In Jesus' name, amen.